Hello fellow developers, have you ever found yourself sifting through endless tutorials and documentation trying to figure out how to seamlessly integrate video playback into your Angular web application? You know that moment when you just want the video to work without the hassle? Well, you are not alone. As a developer who has navigated these choppy waters, I understand the struggle. I am a Yazafar with over 10 years of experience in creating dynamic web applications using Angular. I have successfully implemented video features in multiple projects and today I am here to share those insights with you. So let's dive in and make video playback a breeze in Angular 17. You are building an educational platform or a product showcase or just adding video content to your site. Angular 17 makes your development process more efficient and your users viewing experience more engaging. Let's explore how to leverage these capabilities to elevate your web applications. Let's get our hands dirty by setting up the Angular environment. This is the foundation upon which all our video magic will happen. First things first, we need Angular command line interface or CLI. It's a powerful tool that simplifies our development process by handling the heavy lifting of project setup and configuration. So first of all run this command npm install dash g angular slash cli. So what we have just run in this command to install the angular cli globally on your machine. This allows you to access it from any directory or and start building angular applications anywhere you want. Now with the cli installed let's create a new angular project. You will see how straightforward straightforward it is. So just type the command ng new project name. Press enter and this command creates a new directory called project name with all necessary angular files and configurations. It's like unpacking a treasure chest of angular goodies. Once created move into that new project directory by using the cd command like this. It's where all our upcoming video functionalities will be added. So I already have created the project so I will using that one here that is open in my VS code. Next let's ignite the engines by starting the development server. You will be able to see your application come to life in the real time. So for that you just have to run the command ng serve and press enter. Then this will start the server and open that on the port 4200. So ng serve compiles your, your application and serves it, it locally. By default it is on port 4200. So after running this you can open your browser and navigate to the local host colon 4200 to see your app like this as you make changes to your code the angular cli will automatically rebuild your app and refreshes the page showing your updates in real time it's like having an instant feedback loop let's recap we have installed angular cli created a new project navigated into it and started our development server now you are standing at threshold of angular development you are doing great with your environment ready. We are all set to dive into the world of video embedding and control. Now that our Angular environment is set up and running, let's understand the heart of video playback in the web applications, the HTML video tag. The HTML video tag is a powerful element that allows us to embed a video directly into your web, web pages. It supports multiple formats and gives control over playback, all without needing external plugin. So let's look at the basic syntax. The video tag has several attributes, but we will start with the essentials. So in this snippet, we have set up the dimension of video and and included controls which provides play, pause and volume controls. The source tag specifies the path to your video file and its format. Moving on, let's embed this video in Angular component. We will work with the app component which is the root component of your Angular application. So make sure you have opened the app.component.html like this and add this code in your HTML. After saving the changes, if your development server is still running, you should see the video appear on your localhost column 4200 page. But before that, make sure to have the video in the assets folder. So for that, let me download the sample video. So by the way, you can uh, use a public live URL as well or local file as well. So let me just show you the live URL first, then we will show you the local demo. Okay, paste it here in the source, save it. Now reload the page and wait. Okay, you can see that has the video playing in the browser and it has all of the controls you can see and you can also make it full screen. Is not that instant 
gratification wonderful while we have used a live file path in this example remember that video source can be a local url as well angular supports various formats so you can choose the one that best suits your needs it's also crucial to consider accessibility the text between the video tags serves as a fallback content for the browsers that don't support the video element a quick tip always test your video on different browsers and devices to ensure compatibility and optimize your users viewing experience you are making fantastic progress next we will explore how to take your video capabilities further with angular's advanced features so let's see now that you are comfortable embedding videos let's elevate our game with angular 17's advanced video features first up custom controls the default controls are functional but sometimes you want that unique look or additional functionality angular makes it easy to implement your own so let's make some changes in our video tag so here i will add a template variable video player and here i will add i will remove the controls so that controls disappear so if you save it you will see that now there are no controls anymore okay now i will add the click event toggle video we will define this function shortly now after the video tag i will add a button okay now let's go back to the app.component.ts and define a property view child okay and within that i will pass the template reference variable that i just defined earlier video player and give it a variable name video player and the type would be element ref make sure to import the element ref from the angular slash core okay now we need to define a function toggle video and here i will add a video constant the type would be html video element and i will get it from the video player dot native element now we will because we have used the type html video element so now we have uh, the suggestions for all of the functions available on the video variable so we have the video dot paused property i'm checking if it is paused then play it otherwise pause it so in this snippet our code we have created a custom play pause button the view child decorator allows us to reference the video element and the toggle video function controls the playback based on the video's current state <clears throat> now let's try it click on the play button and you can see that the video has been started and if you click on pause the video would be paused and if i click on the video it will again be paused or played okay so you can see that video is playing and it is quite funny video now let's talk about the autoplay sometimes you want your video to start playing as soon as user loads the page so this is how you want that open the app.component.html and in the video tag i will add some other attributes one is autoplay and second one if you want to make it muted then you can use it in this way there would be no voice it will play but there would be no voice and also add the loop let me first download this video i will paste it in the assets folder okay so now let's use that path okay now let me add the autoplay on the video tag so i have added the autoplay and muted uh, muted uh, attribute with the, because of that it should autoplay and uh, in it should be muted for some reason it is not working in my google chrome uh, but i tested in the safari it is working so you can see if you reload it then it will start playing the video without any voice so further you can add a loop attribute so this code sets the video to play automation play automatically upon loading so muted is often required for autoplay to work due to the browser policies and loop makes the video restart when it reaches to the end now let's ensure our video looks great on all devices with responsive design so this is crucial in today's multi-device world so for that let's style it go to the scss file and add the video selector add the width 
100% and height should be auto <coughs> okay now you can see that it is in the full screen and height is auto and if you reduce the size the width and height should be adjusted automatically so by setting the height 100% and height uh, width 100% and height auto the video scales nicely to the width of the container this ensures it fits beautifully into different screen sizes without distortion we just upgraded our video with custom controls autoplay and made it responsive these features not only enhance aesthetics but also user interaction and accessibility great job following along with these skills you are well on your way to creating engaging multimedia content in your angular apps now that we have mastered the basics and explored ex advanced features it's time to put all knowledge into practice we are going to build a simple yet functional video player in angular 17 first let's create a new component specifically for our video player this en encapsulates all our video logic and can be reused anywhere in your application so let's open the terminal and type the command ng generate component video dash player okay okay the component has been created now this command scaffolds a new component called video player it includes the typescript html and css files we need to build our player next we will define the structure of our video player in the component html file so let's add our video tag and some custom controls so i'm going to just copy paste the same thing from our app component let's cut it and move it there and let me remove this and let's remove all of these three attributes and after that i will add two buttons play video and then we need a button with the pause video function so in this template we have got our video element and two buttons for play and pause the video player is our template preference variable allowing us to interact with the video element in our typescript code now let's add the functionality for our player and pause button we will do this in the components typescript file so here i will add a function play video actually let me define the variable for the video player v child video player and the type is element reference make sure to import it okay now i will create a function play video okay and here i will simply call the function video dot play okay and next we need a pause video function so here we are using view child decorator to get the reference to our video element the video the play video and pause video method simply call the play and pause methods on the native video element a good video player needs to look good so let's add some basic styling to make our controls more user friendly so let's do that video which should be 100 percent and display should be block and in the button i will add padding 5 pixel and 10 pixel and we need margin 5 pixels and cursor should be pointer so this css makes our video player responsive and gives our button some basic styling adjustments can be made to fit the look and feel of your applications now let's import this video player in the app.component import array as i'm using standalone component so i will directly import in in the import array of this component okay now in the app.component i can simply add video player component that we just created save it and now you can see that we have the video with the play and pause button and uh, let me add some style here display block and width under vh and height okay save it uh save this css as well all right you can remove these attributes from it so that you can control this player with the css okay so as you build and test your video player remember to check it on different browsers and devices ensure that the path to your video file is correct and be aware of any browser specific behaviors avoid hard coding video sources when possible make sure your your player flexible by passing the video source as an input also ensure your video formats are widely supported we have just built our very own video player in angular this is very simple but uh, you can make it advanced and more attractive with these skills you can start creating more complex and interactive video experiences 
Whenever possible, test on actual devices, emulators are great, but nothing beats seeing how your video performs on a real smartphone, tablet, and desktop. Remember, not all users have high speed internet, so offer lower resolution options for users on slower connections to ensure everyone has a smooth viewing experience. Avoid setting absolute sizes for your video. This can lead to overflow issues on smaller screens. Also be wary of autoplay on mobile devices as many have restrictions. Preserve user data. You are now equipped to make your Angular video player responsive and accessible to all. As you refine your player, remember to continually test and iterate. Even with the best planning and coding, you might encounter issues when embedding videos in Angular. So let's go through some common problems and how to troubleshoot them effectively first up the infamous video not playing this can stem from a few sources like incorrect paths or unsupported formats double check your video's source path and format ensure the server hosting the video allows for media file access for format issues consider converting your video to widely supported types like mp4 now let's tackle poor performance on mobile devices this often relates to a large file sizes or high resolutions optimize your video files use tools to compress them without significant quality loss and provide different resolutions remember not all users need 1080p on small screen different browsers can react differently to same video if your video isn't working across the board you might be facing compatibility issues test your video in many browsers as possible consider providing multiple source files in different formats within your video tag this way the browser can pick the one it supports best autoplay can be tricky especially with the modern browser putting user experiences first if your video is not autoplaying as expected browser policy might be the culprit ensure your video is muted if you want it to autoplay many browsers restrict autoplay on videos with sound to prevent user annoyance also consider adding an unobtrusive play button as a fallback when troubleshooting take a systematic approach check the console for errors verify your file paths and formats and look for any network issues and always keep user experience in mind troubleshooting is an essential skill for any developer with these tips and a bit of persistence you will overcome any video playback issues that come your way you are now well prepared to handle the most common video issues in angular we have built a fully functional video player from scratch and optimized it for various devices this isn't just theoretical knowledge it is a practical toolkit you can apply directly to your projects and finally we covered some common issues and troubleshooting techniques these are essential skills that we will serve you well as you continue to develop and refine your applications remember what you have covered today is just a beginning the world of angular and video embedding is vast and constantly evolving keep experimenting and learning now that you have armed with this knowledge i encourage you to dive in and start embedding your own videos experiment with different types and sources of videos to see what you can create if you have found this tutorial helpful please hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this your support means a lot and helps me create more tutorials got questions or ran into issue comment below i would love to hear about your experiences and help out in any way i can your feedback is invaluable and shapes the future content remember learning is continuous journey each video you embed each issue you troubleshoot takes you one step closer to mastering angular so take these skills build something amazing and don't forget to share your your creations you are not just learning you are innovating stay curious keep learning and and until next time happy coding thank you for joining me in this angular 17 adventure here at ias tech we are all about making web development accessible and enjoyable for more content like this check out our other tutorials on my channel whether you are a beginner or looking to sharpen your skills there is something for everyone don't forget you are part of a community share your progress ask questions and engage with fellow developers together we grow stronger if you have not already consider subscribing to stay updated with the latest in the web development straight from the source stay tuned for more exciting tutorials from deep dives into specific features to full project builds once again i am a Zafar and it's been pleasure guiding you through angular videos embedding keep building keep learning and i will see you in the next tutorial